Well, nice finish to the week on this Friday across central and eastern Kentucky. Of course, plenty of sunshine, but also a lot of wind as well. And that is going to continue into Saturday. Remember, a couple days ago, it looked like we may be dealing with some showers tomorrow, but for the most part, it's going to be dry. Looks like our shower chance is confined to our southern counties on Sunday. And again, the big story, widespread frost uh, on tap for next week. In fact, our coldest air mass in quite a while. Bluegrass Care Navigators, Cobb UHD Camera Network, checking out downtown Mount Sterling, where court day's ongoing, Courthouse Square. Everything looking good there. 64 winds, of course, have been up. And they've been gusty, 25 to even 30 miles per hour, and they'll stay up a little bit even after the sun goes down. The downside of all the dry weather and the wind, look at the dew point, 23 is the elevated fire danger, as we have mentioned. So uh, no uh, outdoor burning at all, because again, between the dry conditions and all that wind, that could easily cause some problems. Mid to upper 60s right now. We do have that frontal boundary that we talked about the last couple of days, making a quick run for the area. You see the moisture Chicago land back into the Missouri River Valley, but it is so dry that as this approaches, thanks to high pressure down to our south, I think we'll see a little bit of mid to high level cloudiness potentially overnight. And with that south wind, that will help our temperatures to actually increase toward daybreak and then the front is through. So getting into tomorrow afternoon, our updated runs trying to throw maybe a shower down toward the Kentucky Tennessee border, but it looks like low 70s down south and east, upper 60s here in the bluegrass. I mentioned the wind and it is going to stay up. Again, those gusts, you can almost see it as that front moves through. Winds will back off a little bit, not as breezy tomorrow afternoon. And once the sun goes down tomorrow, that's when we're really back winds off. So that's good for the kicking and passing game with Kentucky Mississippi State out at Kroger Field. Speaking of, your tailgating weather is looking good. 430, 69, our kickoff temperature dropping down into the low 60s, so should feel pretty good out there. Enjoy it. Little wave of energy along with the left of that boundary, so a few showers mainly south on Sunday. Can't entirely rule out one or two up here in the bluegrass region. And then that game-changing front, here it comes on Monday. Look at the difference. We dropped down to 54 for the afternoon high, and an upper-level system sitting and spinning over... Uh, the Great Lakes, and that will come into play as far as keeping things really chilly to cold into early next week. So cool Monday, you see the deeper blue indicating freezing temperatures on Tuesday morning, and it's just going to be flat chilly on Tuesday afternoon. We're probably not even going to make it out of the 40s for highs due to some scattered cloudiness uh, to go along with the cooler air, chilly air. So get set for that. A few clouds tonight, rising temperatures after... Uh, bottoming out after midnight in the low 50s, upper 60s tomorrow here in the bluegrass, low 70s down south. There are your rain chances on Sunday. And check out early next week. Yeah, 48. That's it for the afternoon high on Tuesday. So break out the heavier jackets. And of course, the growing season probably coming to an end with a widespread killing frost expected, even a hard freeze potentially in a few areas.